Okay. So it's cold outside. Like minus 10. It's not so bad. We've had such an pansy ass American winter here. It's been really mild. I'm used to here now minus 45 in Alberta. What? Minus 10 is a walk in the park. What? This bitch still be cold. Holy fuck. So here we have, I have not touched him since I peeled him off. Oh, that's why I thought it was grass. Since I peeled him off the burnt bike. Mm, he was only like three months old. Brand new motor. Fuck, $200. Nice tire. And, uh, ah, yes. $1,000 and then what? $300 duty to get it here. Oh, my God. A $1,500 box you look at right here. I ride him ah, three months. Anyways, I'm not I'm not complaining. Look at the bike. The bike beyond the tire. <laughs> the rest of the bike beyond the tire. I didn't even clean it up. Like I said, it's brand new. It's 5 kilowatts. I did 180 kilometers an hour with this big bitch. I carry them in and my hands get all black. I have to go scrub them already now. Second time. But I'll clean him up. And we're going to talk about it because I have some spectacular improvements to this burnt up motor. He, he is a QS motor. He's 5,000 watts. Okay, 72 volt, 5,000 watts. 5,000 watts. Imagine that. Oh my God, I'd be sick of twat. Okay, so I'll show you the rest of the thing. Goddamn heavy, man. He about 100 80, 80 to 100 pound man. He a fucking heavy tire. So, but I drag him in. And, uh, you know, I will work at doing this. This is more, this is e-bike uh, rear tire for motorcycle. And uh, he will be battery hypercharger driven by AC motor. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Mm, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> he, probably the easiest way is belt and pulley, but I don't want really that. But I got uh, some explaining to do for you here because you're going to fucking love it. Like a wet dream in a Jew's fucking nightmare, man. Like a wet dream in a Jew's nightmare. <laughs> you're going to love it. Anyways... This be, so that be how I'm going to mount it, how I couple it. Right here, you can see I have good mounting. We'll take this bracket off, right? It's so dirty, damn it. It's so dirty. But where the uh, brake disc is, we have good mounting here. All kind of hole. I could couple that to any kind of pulley. Probably cut this fucker off here. Somewhere, probably flush, just past that bearing sleeve there. You see that sleeve there? Probably cut that fucker off right there. Put coupling pulley here to induction motor. Right. Yeah, I think that'd be the best. And make stand on the other side. Now what's the rest? Well, he's already got the flywheel. We've got the flywheel. The tire's been fucked. He still hold air and everything. But I would not trust him driving 180 kilometers, right? <laughs> Even if I clean all the plastic melted bike off the tire, because he'd be everywhere. Melted wires and, oh, fucking lithium-ion batteries. Never again, my friend. Never again. <laughs> LTO won't do that. You hammer nail through it, it won't even light fire, explode nothing. That's a better way to go. But... Lead acid, man. What the fucking shit be everywhere. Easy enough to uh, recondition, reuse, you know. You never really have to fucking throw it away. You just reuse it, right? You, you mm, recondition it. Put new lead plates in it. Put them back together. Brand new battery, right? So I keep collect those big combine battery. Because they are like massive amperage. I put a whole bunch of them in series. I could take a hundred thousand amps punch. <laughs> so, right? But this, keep them be charged like an alternator. 
So, and if we spin him fast, well, holy fuck, he's going to make like three, 400 volts, right? No problem. Five times his running if we turn him five times his speed. So I have never taken him apart, but I will because I, the wire is be cut. So uh, the mounting to another motor to drive it or pulley or whatever you want. If you mounted him just like he is, you could run pulley and belt. Any size pulley you want, just fucking bolt them onto the disc plate, right? I have a bunch of these motors. I have some that I did the super mods to. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I've been at my game many, many lifetimes. So here would be my high frequency, three-phase AC, five kilowatts, 48 volt, do whatever, 400 volt, DC battery charger mechanical he be powered with the prime mover that be power factor correction tuned run off of pure sine wave inverter from same fucking battery closed loop power your whole fucking house